All right, we are going to be working on setting up my fog ponics for the season. Okay, just got done hosing in here, so everything's a little wet. The things I've tried in the last year, find what works. Now, <clears throat> the plastic down in here has worked fine. I haven't had any leaks from it or anything like that whatsoever. So I'm very happy with that. I will probably redo it next year just to be on the safe side. But so far, pretty good. Now, I've been using my emitters, which I just, I, I'll put one in here and water, I'll put water in from one side and bring my emitter through to the other side. And I'll set the level of the pipe to what I want the water to be. And I'll have a constant supply of water. Now the emitters will drop steam down in, or mist down in. Okay. I mean, they just got the little tube on the bottom. And got a little hole drilled, and it just sits right in place. Now that part of everything has worked fine. Now what I found doesn't work so fine is the level of the mist. The mist can be usually about six inches thick is good. After that it starts getting a little thin. And it works but not so great. So what I'm going to do this year is I'm going to fill half these beds up with perlite so that the top half has mist and the bottom half has perlite. So it'll be combination fog ponics or aeroponics. And the bottom portion will be more like a Dutch bucket setup. Now I'm going to make some drainage tubes to go down the bottom so that everything's filtered. Okay. Now in the last year though, what I have tried is I put a standpipe in and I filled water up halfway. Now that worked pretty good, even aerating the water. But once the temperature got so hot, I couldn't aerate that water. I was better off just draining the water down to the lowest level and running from there. The Now I do have a, a reservoir out back, which I'll show you later. And what I do is I put frozen two liter bottles of ice in it. And that keeps it pretty well cool, but when you have that much water circulating and the temperature's 90 plus degrees outside, it can't cool it quick enough. And as anybody that does any kind of hydroponics knows that once the temperature gets up so high, the being able to oxygenate it is, becomes an issue. Now, the other thing I want to show you is all I use for my plants is I cut a three inch hole that I'll put a net pot in, okay? Now, last year I used these neoprene tops. I don't like them. They're great if you have a hard stem, but I was growing tomato plants and eventually they would strangle the tomato plant. So this year I'm using just pea gravel, filling all the way up, and we'll see how that works. Yeah, it's gonna let a little mist out, Maybe let a little air in, but for me, that's probably going to be a good thing. Now, I'm only using this outside bed, the larger center bed, and the other outside bed. I haven't decided yet what I want to put in these back. I mean, I think they would be great for lettuce or something like that, but just haven't decided yet. So, what we'll do is we will move on. And first thing I got to do is clean out all these beds and clean out the reservoir. That's going to be a bit of a job. All right. All right. We're getting our beds ready for our fog ponics slash Dutch bucket, I guess, set up. Uh, but first, with my long beds, I've only got one drain, so I got to create a water channel. So what I'm using is I've got some old four inch pipe that I used for a uh, deep water culture years ago. So I drilled holes in it. Now obviously what I wanted to show was 
If you've got smaller holes, you got to drill more of them, okay? Proportion to the size. See, two-inch holes, three-inch holes. Just keep that in mind. Now, in the bottoms, what I'm doing is just creating a duct for the water to go out. Now, I turned the little gooseneck down so that it's less likely to plug, okay? Did that in all three, and then I'm going to be putting this in. All right, after we get our pipes in place to create a water channel, okay, which in these on the side will work fine, okay? What we do next is, or what I do next, is I take some landscape fabric. Now this I just suggest some cheap stuff that I picked up at discount store. It's like a hundred feet for five dollars. And I'll put this in. Now if you have to you can tape it but basically I can just set it in here. And when I start filling it what I'll do is I'll fill in around everything and push this up against the sides with the perlite. Okay? Now once the Brown Santa Slay shows up, or otherwise known as the UPS man. I'll have my perlite and I will fill this up later on today. Thank you. Alright, my UPS Santa arrived late yesterday. I got my perlite. Got my compartments filled up about halfway. Okay. Now I'm about ready to start on the top side. All right. All right, got my reservoir cleaned out. Got it running, got the system primed. Uh, the way I got this thing plumbed is I got the three main chambers, okay, plumbed around to one reservoir, okay. Now this reservoir worked fine before, but it looks like I'm going to have to move up to my bigger one. If I get a power blip, uh, the system will drain out and I'll have to refill. Now I got these two corners, which I haven't used yet, plumbed up to go to another reservoir. Which, eh, probably in the near future. But from here, what we'll do is we will set up our foggy meters. All right, this is how I set up my foggy meters for my fog ponics. I take a coffee can, and you can see all that fog air. I'll drill a hole and put a two inch pipe in one portion, and I'll set the level. I'll feed water to it so that it's a constant supply of water and nutrients. And I'll use a regular pond emitter. These cost about two fifty three dollars a piece on eBay. Alright. Now just to show you that you can see the flow, let me take you here. This is a good spot to see it. Okay. You can see the fog here. You see where the water's running out of that one, and you can see the fog rolling out of it a little. Okay? Now next is put my plants in. Alright, we got our plants in place. All I gotta do now is put the nutrients in and we're done. Now the nutrients are something that I'm not gonna cover today because everybody has their own preferred mix, okay? But this ought to work out well. I'll be glad to keep you updated. Y'all have a good day and please subscribe. I said good luck now blow where you will. Watch it for long till I could hardly see. Hope it has some better luck than me. You can't get enough for your dollar and more. But you kindly show yourself to that door. Your belly if you're the working poor. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah.